After a long time, I'm really excited about a new Microsoft product. Finally, Microsoft released Windows Terminal as an official build. I'd been waiting for this official release for a very long time. The preview beta build was quite promising. There are some minor bugs to be fixed. Finally, it's out of beta and Microsoft released its first version 1.0. So why am I so excited about this new Windows Terminal thing? What are the cool features of this Windows Terminal? In this video, I'll discuss all of this. Hey guys, this is Shanko here and welcome to Smart Pick. Before showing you how to get this cool terminal, first let me clear some points. This is a new product released by Microsoft and it's not going to replace the good old command prompt we know. It will exist side by side with command prompt. You might get confused with the word terminal with the command prompt and I don't blame you for that. Cause in Windows based systems, it's kind of true. But the thing is, technically terminal and the command prompt isn't the same thing in all scenarios. In order to understand this, you need to know a little about operating system architectures. So let me give you a quick head start about operating systems. In a broad sense, operating system software architecture can be shown into two components, kernel and shell. Kernel is the core components of operating system. It interacts directly with the hardware and it controls all the tasks of the system. And the shell is an interface to the kernel. It allows users to communicate with the kernel. Basically, shell takes commands from the user and executes kernel's functions. Now, we can't communicate with the shell directly. We need a tool. And here comes the need for a terminal. A terminal is a text mode device which basically sends the user input to the cell. The word terminal comes from terminate, indicating it's the terminating end of a communication process. In early days of computing, we literally had big external physical terminal devices that connected to the computer with cables. We used to call them consoles. Fortunately, the technology improved a lot and we don't use the physical terminal these days. We use software based terminals now. Basically, it's an emulated version of physical terminal. In software-based systems, terminal, shell, command line, all of them are often used interchangeably to indicate a text-based system which I was talking about. Terminal is a very Mac or Unix-centric system. On the other hand, command line is a Windows-centric terminology. In fact, in Windows, we have another tool, PowerShell. PowerShell is both shell and scripting language. It's way more powerful than command prompt. Okay, let's go back to our original topic, Microsoft's newly released Windows Terminal. Why I'm so excited about this? Basically, it puts all the things we are talking about in a single place and allows you to run them in a single screen. Just like browsers, you can create tabs here. You can have one tab for command prompt, one tab for PowerShell, like this. And the coolest thing is, not just Windows based systems, it also supports Linux Bash Cell and it even supports Azure Cloud Cell. But you need to install Windows subsystem for Linux to use the Bash Cell. But the main point is, you are getting everything in a single place. And the cool things don't end here. I'll tell you more about the exciting features of Windows Terminal. But before that, let me show you how to get it. You'll find this Windows Terminal at Windows Store and it's totally free. Just go to Windows Store, search for Windows Terminal and install it. This Windows Terminal is highly customizable. I mean, you can't imagine the level of customizations that you can do with this terminal. Unfortunately, the customization isn't that straightforward. Let me show you how to do this. Click on the drop down arrow, hold the Alt key and click on settings. It will bring up the default settings JSON file. We need to use this as a reference. Now, in order to create your own custom settings JSON file, just click on settings without holding Alt key. Now we can add parameters here to make our own custom settings. Let's talk about the visual things you can do with this terminal. You can change the opacity. You can make it transparent, translucent, whatever way you might like it. Obviously, you can change the background color. Not just the color, you can change the background in a different number of ways. You can even set an image to the background. You can change the opacity of the image. It creates a cool look. And the funny thing is, you can even change the position and the size of the background image. For example, I created this kind of logo at the bottom right corner and gave it a little bit of personalized touch. Isn't this cool? It even supports animated GIFs. You can play with the fonts and the colors. It's called the color scheme. You can make your own color scheme here. It looks like a modern text editor and here is the Microsoft official documentation which will help you out with the customization. I'll put the link in the video description. And the best thing is, you can set different color profiles to different tabs. For example, now I have three tabs opened. 
and I created three different color profiles for each tab. Now I have a separate look for power shell, command prompt, and the bash shell. In the profile, you can change the starting directory, which is pretty cool. You can organize your installations in different drives and open the terminal to that corresponding location. This is really neat. You can change the launch settings. By default, when you open it, it opens the PowerShell. You can change it to your desired tool. Just change the default profile value with your desired GUID. If you want to do a side by side comparison, you can have a split screen window in this terminal and the customization goes up to a whole new level. In runtime, you can even resize it. So these are some customization features, but wait, there's more. This new terminal supports emojis. Can you imagine this? But I don't know why would anyone need emojis here, but okay, this is a funny feature. Some people in the internet customized it even further with custom PowerShell plugins. I found a blog of a Microsoft guy who wrote a useful tutorial about this. Thanks to him, we can do a lot more. I'll put the link in the description. If you want, you can check it out. This terminal also supports custom key bindings. So you can create keyboard shortcuts to customize it. Like opening a new tab, you can split the screen with a keyboard key and many more. It also comes with a custom search function. You have to press the controls, shift and F to bring up the search bar. Another major thing is to address is the new SSH client feature. Earlier in Windows based systems, in our college days, we had to use a separate SSH client called Putty to connect to the server. This new Windows terminal can use Windows 10's inbuilt SSH client, which is really great. So you can connect to your server with this new terminal without any separate SSH client. So finally I can say goodbye to Putty. Bye Putty. Guys, this new Windows terminal is extremely feature rich. In this video I've discussed some of its cool features, but a lot of other stuff you can do with this terminal. And Microsoft is still bringing new features. So a big thumbs up to the developer team. So before wrapping up, I'll show you one more cool thing I found about this terminal. There's a font created by Microsoft called Cascadia Code. This font supports programming ligatures. It basically combines multiple common coding characters into a single character. For example, to express not equals expression in programming language, normally we type exclamation sign and then an equal sign. In this font, if you type them next to each other, it will literally convert into a not equal sign. Trust me, it's a visual pleasure. Alright guys, I have to wrap up this video here. Hope you learned a lot of new things in this video. Please hit the like button and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It really means a lot. See you in my next video. Thank you.